welcome back to my channel my name is Stephanie before we get started Lord I come before you humble thanking you and praising you Holy Spirit asking that you word my mouth because you know what needs to be said and you know what needs to be heard and who need to hear it Lord I ask if someone watching that doesn't know you that Lord God that you give them a heart of repentance in the mighty name of Jesus amen Okay, well today we're going to talk about a dream that the Lord gave me. He gave me a dream, and he want me to talk about this dream. The meaning of the dream is going to come from Romans chapter 8, verse 18. Romans chapter 8, verse 18. Okay, in this dream, it was a lady on a mountain. She was laying on a flat part of the mountain, and this lady was giving birth. Mountain represents nation, nations or people. Okay, so she was laying there, she was getting ready to give birth. She was in pain, a doctor was there to check her. And the doctor told her she's close, but not yet. Um, that the baby was on its way, but not yet. So the lady was in so much pain, ready to push. And the doctor told her, no, not yet, not yet. So the lady had to end up closing her knees to try to keep it in, to keep the baby in. In this dream, it's like I was standing back afar, like a distance. And I began to clap with rejoice. I was rejoicing, but I wasn't the only one. In this dream, I could feel feel in the in the um in the dream that it was people all over clapping and rejoicing because of what was getting ready to come forth so with that being said let me read what the lord gave me he gave me romans 8 verse 18 present suffering future glory 18. I consider that our present sufferings are not worth comparing with the glory that will be revealed in us. Let's go down to 22. We know that the whole creation has been groaning as in the pains of childbirth right up until now. Let me read it again. We know that the whole creation has been groaning as in the pains of childbirth right up until this present time. Now, the whole creation, that's all of us, we've been groaning. And we've been groaning, what's been causing the groan, um, what's been causing us to groan is the sin. The sin um, that we was born into. Since we was birthed into this uh, to this world, we've been we was birthed into sin. So we've been groaning, but God is getting ready to display His glory within us. Paul says here, this groaning is like the pains of childbirth. In other words, the pain is real. The pain is real. Just like the groaning is real, the pain is real that we go through, that we're going through. The wages of sin is death. So it can't be all good. We have to have pain. We have to be groaning. Creation has to be groaning because of the sin, because the wages of sin is death. And what's happening in hell is groaning, it's crying, it's pain. So the groaning and the pain is real, vivid and intense. But it is leading to a moment of birth when all will be made right and the pain will be forgotten. So the Lord, what he's getting ready to do He's getting ready to bring forth his glory. 
It doesn't matter if you know him or if you don't know him. You're going to know his glory. You're going to witness his glory. All of us going to witness his glory. We're going to know that he exists. That he's real. He's getting ready to, to make his presence known. Don't take this lightly. Gl the glory, it is, it means the presence of God. It's an intense presence of God. So intense that we cannot ignore it. He's going to make sure we don't ignore it. He's going to, he, when that thing, when that give birth, we're going to know it. We're going to know without a doubt. And that's going to be like, he, he, he's going to give us a second chance. A second chance to get it right. He's going to give us a second chance to receive him. He's going to say, look at here. I am real. What my people's been saying is true. There is a God that sits high and look down low. Sees everything. Sees all things. And you, you can't go above him. You can't go beneath him. You won't be able to go around him. So his glory being displayed... In us, where we're going to be able to see it, even if we see it through one another, oh, it's going to be displayed. He's given the people a chance. He's given his people a chance. The ones that didn't receive him. The ones that won't receive him. He given his people a chance. He's getting ready to prove that he is real. He's getting ready to prove that he, he loves his people. He's getting ready to prove that he died for his people. He's getting ready to prove that he rose again for his people. Because he's getting ready to display his glory. And, and trust me, the people that don't know him, they're not the only one that's groaning. All creation. That means even the ones that received him. Even the ones that accepted him. Even the ones that say, Lord, come into my heart and be my Lord and Savior. Lead me and guide me to all righteousness. Those people, we, we, me, we're groaning also. We're suffering also. But he's, but the only, the difference between the people that serving him now, the people that received him now, the difference between us and the people and his people that did not receive him, his people that don't know him, the difference is the people that serve in him now that received him, we have a taste of his glory. We know what it's like to be in his presence. But he's getting ready to increase it like never before. We getting ready to witness his presence like never before. Don't take it lightly. Don't take it lightly. All creations is suffering. All creations is groaning. All of us getting ready to witness his glory like never before. We getting ready to witness his presence like never before. But you don't have to wait to witness his presence. You can witness his presence today. All you have to do is repent of your sins and ask him to come into your heart and be your Lord and Savior. And you can begin to witness his presence. It's not going to be like the presence where he's getting ready to bring forth. That's getting ready to be birthed forth. It's not going to be on that level. But you can begin to get a hint of what his presence is like. What his glory is like. What it's like to lay out before him. And you can feel his glory all over you. You can do that today. But I'm telling you, something much bigger, something much powerful, we getting ready to witness. And that is his glory, his presence. But you don't have to wait. You don't have to wait. You could begin to rejoice right now. You could begin to rejoice right now. Because his people, was, we was rejoicing in that dream at the end because we knew what was getting ready to come we knew what was getting ready to birth out of this woman 
We knew. We knew it. So you don't have to wait. You could ask the Lord to forgive you of your sins. He love you. He'll forgive you of your sins. Nothing can separate you from the love of God. Nothing can separate you from the love of God. So give your life to Christ now. You don't have to wait. You don't have to wait until the, until that to the glory is revealed. You could do it now and you could get a, a, a feel of his glory now. And with that being said, Lord, I come before you and I thank you and I praise you. Lord, I thank you, Lord God, that I gave it the way you gave it to me, oh God. And Lord, I just pray right now that you begin to touch the heart of your people. That Lord God, that they will repent, oh God. And Lord God, that they will ask that you come in and be their Lord and Savior, God. To lead them and guide them to righteousness, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus, oh God. And that they can witness your, your glory even right now, oh God. It won't be like the glory that you're getting ready to reveal, oh God. But they could begin to witness your presence, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus, oh God. And Lord, if there's someone watching that doesn't know you, oh God. Lord God, I ask that you give them a heart of repentance, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus, oh God. And Lord, I thank you. And Lord, I praise you for what you're getting ready to reveal to your people, oh God. Within your people, oh God. And Lord, I thank you. And Lord, I praise you. In Jesus' name, amen. And until next time, repent.